welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Haley, and i make lifestyle and hygiene videos here on youtube so if that takes the best for you you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below it looks like this right here go ahead and join the family i promise you will not regret it for today's video i decided that i just wanted to do a little self day not me already messing up a little self-care day vlog because classes actually got canceled at my university today because if you don't know i go to sam houston state university and in houston there was actually a tropical storm heading their way that was supposed to hit today there was still a possibility of us getting the rain even though it hasn't rained that much it's just been really really gloomy so they just went ahead and canceled classes which i am not mad at i had my longer class today from i think 12 30 to 1 45 and y'all that class can definitely drag on so i'm so glad Glad that we actually get a little day to ourselves today as y'all can tell by the title and my attire today is going to be a little self-care day i just thought to myself why not treat myself for a little day and do some things that i enjoy while i can and since i have the day off you know let's let's make the most of it so i did make like somewhat of a list of some things that i wanted to do today i don't know if i'm going to be doing all of them but i do kind of want to try some new things that i maybe don't usually do and also some things that i usually do try we're going to see so the first thing that i want to do is do a face mask for you guys and then i also wanted to do some journaling today which I'll probably do later at the end of my day another thing I wanted to do was take a bubble bath and I'm probably gonna do that later after I go to the gym which is another thing that I wanted to do today I don't know how I'm gonna record me doing a bubble bath because I feel like it's so difficult to get clips of me like in the tub or I don't know hopefully I can try to figure something out we'll see I also wanted to do my toes and my nails at home I definitely need to do my toes who is that Oh. and i also want to try some yoga and i may or may not try meditating after yoga and then probably towards the later night i did want to have like a little girl talk and cover like the topic of self-care and how important it is for us to you know take care of ourselves but i'm going to do something different this time and actually try to enjoy doing everything at home as much as i can because you can definitely do self-care on a budget you can definitely do it at home but with all that being said that was probably the longest intro ever i'm going to go ahead and wet my face and dampen my face so i can do this face mask this is a teamy green tea detox mask and i've actually used it a couple times before already and i really really like it i actually haven't done a face mask in so long before i had this product and it makes my skin feel so refreshed and like you know ready for the week and i just wet a rag and i'm gonna dampen my face with it because it says to do that on the instructions before applying and we're just going to apply the mask with our fingers i don't have a fancy little face brush which i should probably get that would be helpful because i feel like that would make this more aesthetically pleasing but for now we're just gonna put this on my face with my fingers it's so thick and so cool to the touch like i feel like this is definitely a mask that would apply really well if you put it in one of those like skincare refrigerators and i actually do have a coupon code for y'all to use with teamy y'all know i've worked with teamy with previous products before and i love them so much and i'm so glad that they sent me a mask this time because y'all know i love self-care and it's been a minute since i actually used a face mask like i told y'all i definitely recommend this mask a lot it is a detoxing mask but it's not very irritating i do have really really sensitive face skin and just body skin in general and one thing that you know makes me nervous when i hear detox mask is that it's really going to strip you of all moisture and like you know have your skin very irritated afterwards but this mask does not do that you can feel it tingling and working while it's on your face and it's tightening but it's not like an alarming tingling like oh my gosh i need to take this off my face right now like something's wrong it's like a good refreshing tingling so yeah i'm actually really really happy that timmy sent over this product to me and i want to thank timmy for partnering with me so yeah i'm just going to apply it into a thinnish layer i don't like for the layer to be super super thin because i do like to have like a good amount of product on my face but as long as it's not super thick it'll dry accordingly as it should and i'm going to make sure i get all the areas like the side of my face right there but avoid your edges y'all don't put it on your eyebrows and stuff because i don't know how that would do <laughs> and one thing that i really do like about having a detox mask specifically this one is that i do have a problem with my pores having buildup and my pores being super enlarged and that can be related to like you know having a buildup of product in your pores so i'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for about 10 to 15 minutes until it gets hard and i feel like it's drying all around my face as y'all can see it's getting lighter on my chin so that means it's drying my face is gonna get really tight to where i can't even laugh <laughs> it makes me think of all the movies where people used to get like the clay mask with the cucumbers on their eyes and they would like move like this because they really couldn't talk no it's actually it's actually a thing y'all okay so i'm gonna go ahead and go wash this off my fingers and i'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes when it's done drying 
All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and take the mask off. It's fully dry. There are a couple of dark spots, but I think it's just because I put a lot of product there. You can literally see it like cracking on my skin. So it's time to take it off. So I'm just gonna wet the same rag and actually really get it wet and just like kind of like, you know, scrub it off my face. Y'all, this top is so cute. I got it from TJ Maxx the other day and it's so cute and it's so comfortable. We're just gonna wait while the water takes 35 years to heat up. Boom, skin already looks refreshed and renewed. <sighs> ah, it's out of my edges. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and pat dry it. My skin just looks like it drank a cup of coffee, like boom, it just woke it up like that. I'm gonna go in with my moisturizer. It's just the Up and Up brand moisturizer, y'all. I'm still working on finishing this moisturizer. I have yet to finish it, even though I use moisturizer two times a day. I don't know why it doesn't just wanna finish itself. All right, and boom, we're done. I'm about to go ahead and try to find a little video on YouTube for like a beginner's yoga guide. I don't have a yoga mat, so what I'm about to do is either use my blanket, fold it up and put it on the floor and then wash it, or I'm just gonna use like an extra spare towel that I have and then throw it in the dirty clothes and wash it a different day. Here we go, yoga for beginners. 23 minutes, 10 minutes, here we go. This is 10 minute morning yoga for beginners. It's not the morning. Close enough, it's the middle of the day. So let me go ahead and get my towel. All right, y'all, so that was all for that 10 minute yoga session. That was actually really, really nice. It was really relaxing. I definitely need more balance because some of the moves I was shaking a little bit, but that was a really, really nice, relaxing, like fun thing to do. I probably might think about doing that often more days. I'm no professional, so don't make fun of my form, y'all, because I haven't done yoga in a minute. It actually would be nice to follow that up with some meditation. Let's see if I can find like a guided meditation on YouTube. So I found this 10 minute feel good meditation that I'm about to try. I did used to meditate at one point or at least I tried I just wasn't really consistent with it so it's definitely something that I've done before that I actually like so we're gonna go ahead and try this and see how I feel after the fact all right y'all so I'm done with a little 10 minute meditation it was really really nice and really relaxing and honestly I could go to sleep I feel like so good and so at peace I'm definitely gonna start trying to incorporate yoga morning yoga morning stretching or some type of meditation in my day somehow because that actually made me feel like really peaceful so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do my toes. Y'all do not even wanna see my toes, so I'm not gonna show what they look like now. But they look so bad. There's still like some shellac left on my big toe and my second big toe. Like they look bad, y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and get the stuff from up under my sink and do my toes and my nails. Let me put this sock bag on because y'all do not wanna see these critters right now. I promise y'all don't. Okay, so this is my nail bag. I have a nail polish remover. I don't know how this is going to get the shellac polish off my nails but we're gonna hope that it does something and then I have two nail filers which I'm gonna need because I need to shave I need to shave the, the nails down they're looking really mostly ghostly right now this is like a silver like glitter polish I don't see myself using this I don't know why I have this and what occasion I was using this for it's giving very much fifth grade I have this light purple color oh my god I do have a white nail polish that I just just got. I have a clear coat, so that's always useful. I think this is a base coat. Oh no, this is the top coat. So what's this? Plumping. How do you plump a, what? So first things first, we need to go ahead and take off this nail polish that I have on my toes. Y'all, I hope this comes off my toes. Now it's a little tough on the big toe. I don't know y'all. Maybe I could file it off. This is so horrible y'all, I'm not a professional. I'm gonna get a, one of these little fake press-on glue-on nails 
and I'm just gonna like chip at it. Y'all, this does not want to come off. What am I gonna do, y'all? I found an old ID card in this nail thing, and it's I'm gonna see if I can use that to like chip away at the paint. <laughs> Remind me next time if I go to get my toes done not to get shellac if I'm not gonna keep up with my toes, okay, y'all? If y'all see another maintenance vlog and I go and get shellac on my toenails, I give y'all full permission to scream at me. We're getting somewhere, y'all. It's starting to chip off. <gasps> it did. Oh, it's working. Yay. Okay, yay. Y'all, I got it off. Pro tip, if you need to get your shellac off of your toes, get an ID card or get a card and scrape it off. I'm actually kidding, don't do that. I feel like I'm doing freaking construction out here. Like this is some serious stuff. Okay, so good thing we got the shellac off the other toenail. Now I'm just about to make sure that we don't have any leftover like regular nail polish because the bad thing about it is I painted over the leftover cracked up shellac why i didn't just leave it alone i couldn't tell y'all i'm gonna go ahead and follow them down these look so bad y'all they look so bad y'all they look so bad oh my gosh i'm definitely not doing my nails i don't even need to be showing these by so my toenails look like I'm not even gonna try with my fingernails right now because I feel like if I mess up my fingernails and I have to go through the process of taking it all off, I'm gonna be so upset and it's gonna ruin the vibe of today. So we're gonna keep my toes looking like this. I mean, I'm no professional, but at least it's better than the shellac on my toes halfway falling off. The next time I talk to you guys, I will probably be at the gym with Emily later because we are going around five and it is 3.57, so I have like an hour to kill. I'm probably gonna watch some YouTube, chill and get cozy, and then we'll go work out. So I'll catch up with you guys in a about an hour while I cry over my very, very ugly painted toes. <laughs> So I'm back from the gym. I just tried to do a whole little setup in my restroom where I kind of like pulled the lights from around my room in here. But the only problem is the lights are wrapped around my bed, like the inside towards the wall. And I actually cannot move my bed. Like I'm, I'm not strong enough to move my bed. So I'm probably not gonna be able to do the whole bubble bath thing, which kind of sucks. But for now, I'm just gonna take a shower. I am going to use a new product though, my cotton candy tree husk scrub. I will let y'all know how this works. I'm super excited to try this out. That's a step of self-care that I really like to do is exfoliating and I would be doing the whole shaving and nine yards thing like that but I shaved like two days ago so I really don't need to shave but I'm about to go ahead and get in the shower so I am out of the shower I exfoliated and everything and my skin feels so smooth y'all tree head scrubs just leave your skin feeling so soft especially because it's a sugar scrub so it also leaves it feeling really really moisturized and now it's time for my out of shower skincare routine so for today I'm not gonna be doing anything crazy with the scents of my lotion so tonight we're just gonna use my Jergens ultra healing lotion and the original scent this has no scent to it it's just a regular lotion but I feel like that's good for my skin right now because I kind of did switch up my scent of my hygiene routine lately and I don't want my skin to become super irritated and plus I'm going to sleep so I don't really need any major scent to be sticking to me right now and I'm actually going to mix it with my Vaseline intensive care cocoa radiant body oil y'all know I rave about this one but I haven't been using it lately because it's been so hot outside and I know that body oil can make you like really slick when it's hot y'all ignore the fact that I have the wrong robe tie on this robe this is a silk robe and whenever I use the actual silk tie for it when I'm filming it tends to come loose so I'm just gonna use my other robes tie so let's let's ignore that that's why I have the cover right here because I'm definitely not matching all in all so far I feel so relaxed and I feel like I made a good use of my day instead of sitting and kind of watching TV shows although that is a form of self-care I do want to say that sitting and doing nothing if you want to do absolutely nothing there is nothing wrong with that like that is still self-care because you're doing something that you want to do and you're giving yourself a break at the same time all right y'all are just gonna have to see this non-matching robe tie today 
but that's definitely a form of self-care too it honestly just depends on your mood if you want to do absolutely nothing then it's going to be treating yourself to do absolutely nothing and binge watch shows eat your favorite food like you don't have to have an active self-care day it's honestly whatever you like to do which makes it a self-care day so i did want to have a little chat session somewhere in this video so i think i'm just going to do it now basically talking about like you know self-care self-care is really whatever you want it to be and it is whatever you love doing there's no specific rule of like self-care is doing this that and the third it's literally whatever you enjoy doing and whatever makes you happy that makes it self-care i enjoy using my hygiene products like exfoliating taking a nice little bath using a nice little body wash getting up and being active being organized and just doing little extra steps that make me feel like good about myself so that's what i choose to do on a self-care day if you like to read books if you like to listen to music i was finna do it and go to starbucks and get some coffee because i love coffee but i refrain myself because i have coffee at the house but that would have been self-care too okay i asked for y'all to give me some topics to talk about in this video on instagram and i think i got like two topics so i'm gonna go ahead and talk about that now so the first topic that somebody submitted is mental health care mental health care is really important because if you are not in a good mental health care state it really does reflect in your everyday life it's easy to forget sometimes that we are not just taking care of our physical selves we're also taking care of our mental selves and our mental beings and that our mind makes up a huge part of us you know you can be fully healthy and fully happy with your outside and physical body but if you're not happy with your mental state and what's going on inside your head then it can really affect your whole life and you're gonna feel like you know there's something missing and there's a void like I feel like I've had moments where I felt so good about myself physically and I had no problem with how I looked and I was very happy with like my outer being but inside I felt like I was just like not fully there like no matter how good I look I still didn't fully feel like myself because my mind mentally was not there and I wasn't my best mentally so I definitely think mental health is important I definitely say take the extra time and care for yourself mentally doing things like self-care days can also help with your mental health state because it makes you feel good about yourself it can boost your esteem it can boost your confidence and I do love how in this generation mental health is a normalized topic to talk about and it's not ignored as it was in the past I love that people are becoming more aware of mental health because it's such an important thing to become aware of and the next question that somebody asked is is what is your routine to decrease stress and center yourself so basically it's some of the things that I'm doing in this video although I did try new things like yoga and meditation that I don't do often things like doing a face mask getting in the shower doing my whole in-depth hygiene routine like exfoliating shaving taking the time in the shower and not rushing it really helps me feel better about myself and de-stress myself usually I can say when I get stressed about something my go-to reaction is to literally cry freak out like I'm not kidding y'all freak out and literally just fly off the handle a couple of weeks ago I had some Something happened and it really really stressed me out and instead of freaking out and crying and going and just you know literally having a mental breakdown I told myself you know what I'm gonna do some self-care I'm gonna get in the shower I'm gonna do my in-depth shower routine I'm gonna exfoliate I'm gonna shave I'm gonna use my favorite body wash I'm gonna get out I'm gonna lotion my body up with my favorite lotion moisturize my skin I'm gonna do a face mask I'm gonna do whatever it takes to make myself feel better and for me personally doing a little in-depth self-care and hygiene routine is what makes me feel better another thing would be just relaxing relaxing and watching my favorite show and doing things that I truly enjoy to de-stress and take my mind off of the situation. It's so easy to stay stressed and stay focused on the bad when you're not doing anything and you're not entertaining yourself because you're not really distracting your mind. And I'm not saying to just like sweep whatever the situation is under the rug. I'm saying basically to accept the situation as it is, acknowledge the fact that everything's going to be okay and everything happens for a reason. Whether the outcome is good or bad, it is going to contribute to the bigger picture in your life and you can even journal about it another thing i do to de-stress is journaling when i write down my feelings and i can just tell the whole story to my journal it makes me feel so much better so definitely just do something that you love to de-stress and recenter yourself a lot of people do like reset routines i don't have a personal reset routine i am working on one because i feel like that's a very beneficial thing to have to kind of clear your mind and clear your space and that will be helpful as well and yeah i feel like it's different for everybody your take on de-stressing yourself may not be to just go and you know exfoliate yourself and body wash you're probably like what is that gonna do for you it may be going to take a walk for you it may be you know talking to somebody that you love like it's different for everybody so you kind of have to find what makes you feel best and what brings you happiness and if you don't know what brings you happiness that would be another good opportunity to try to discover yourself and discover what you truly love not my camera right now this storage i'll be rb y'all let me put on some clothes i'm gonna be back y'all why did i find the string for my robe in my freaking dresser i just changed into this cute little pajama set that i got from Shein. i definitely do not wear this pajama set 
it regularly because one it's really hot to sleep in but since we're going for the little self-care thing tonight why not put on some cute pajamas some matching pajamas so i feel a little but basically as i was saying before my camera really shut off and ran out of storage self-care is just really important and i feel like it's really important to take the time for yourself out of your schedule no matter how busy you get because i know that it can get so hectic sometimes like when i was working this summer i kind of fell off on my hygiene routine and my self-care stuff because i was always at work literally i work every single day and i was working like eight hour shifts every day and i just started to feel like i barely even have time to come home and go to sleep let alone spend the extra time in the shower and exfoliate and like do all the things that i usually love doing so i was just kind of feeling like sad that i wasn't really keeping up with myself how i wanted to and i think it's easier if you kind of reserve a specific day for your self-care like if you tell yourself okay i'm gonna do self-care on sundays sundays are my self-care days that will kind of make like a self-care schedule for you to host yourself to because you know when every sunday rolls around unless you're extremely extremely busy and you have a change of plans that you can take that extra time for yourself and have a little you day you feel me but with all that being said those are the only topics that i got so that's why i'm only covering that um if you guys have any more topics for me to talk about in future self-care videos or future girl talk related videos y'all can definitely go ahead and leave the comments down below so last on the list for this self-care day is going to be journaling. I do have two journals. I actually have three journals, but one of them I don't really use anymore. So I'm just going to show you these two. This is my gratitude journal. Oh, not the journal being upside down. Okay. This is my daily gratitude journal. On the front, it just says give thanks every day. I got this from Home Goods for $5.99. And this is just my plain journal that I write like events in, or if I want to do like a list of my gratitudes or make up my own affirmations for the day, I'll go ahead and write it in this journal. This is kind of just like a free range journal. So yeah, if you have journals or if you have a piece of paper or a notebook, this will be the perfect time to get out your journal, get out your piece of paper or your notebook and go ahead and journal with me. You can journal down your gratitude. She can look up some things on Pinterest, like some journal prompts to write. So this will be your time to do so. I'm about to go ahead and journal and I will catch up with you guys after the fact. Alright y'all, so it is time for me to go ahead and close out this video. I really do hope that y'all enjoyed this video and that y'all were able to do some self-care yourselves while you were watching this video. Or maybe it motivated y'all to take a second out of your week and go ahead and treat yourselves. And if you did enjoy this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and leave a comment down below and give it a thumbs up as well. And also lastly, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Go ahead and join the family if you want to see more videos like this and more self-care related videos because I will definitely, definitely be trying to put some out in the future and i want to thank y'all so so much for watching and making it to the end even if you didn't make it to the end i appreciate you for clicking on this video i'm so thankful for each and every one of y'all it makes my heart so full and so happy and i will see y'all in my next one bye guys